Chris Orsini here, and I am going to walk through how to use DocuSign with Command. Uh, so I have created a uh, phony opportunity here, um, and I've attached a, uh, a listing to it already, and I'm in Documents now. What I'm going to do is click Start a Transaction and choose DocuSign. Now you'll see it's thinking what it's doing is creating a DocuSign room. And I've already logged into DocuSign today, so it's not going to ask me to log in again. But if you have not logged into DocuSign uh, today, it will prompt you to log in. Um, now it's going to first take me into Documents. But the first thing I want to do is go over to Details here and, uh, and put in all the information I can. Uh, as you can see, it's already brought over a name and said it's a listing. Um, and even brought over the address for me, which is nice. Um, so I'll edit and just put in you know, the seller name, Joe Schmo, and an email address. I'll just put mine for now. And click save. Now you'll want to go through and make sure you can you put as much data in here as possible because this is where autofill is going to pull from. So I'm going to go back over to documents and click add and choose DocuSign forms. Now, uh, if you have not previously done this, it will ask for your NRDS ID uh, so that you can access your state forms. I'm not licensed, uh, so I don't have an NRDS ID. So this asks me for this every time. Uh, once you put it in once, it won't ask you again. So I'm just going to skip this, uh, but I do have access to our office forms. So I'll choose our office. Um, and I'm just going to choose, let's say, the KW addendum to the listing agreement and click Add. Now this will bring it into my room. And I can click on it now and see that it has auto-filled uh, some of the data. So it puts in the address. Um, and if there was a place for the seller name, which there isn't, just a place for the uh, signature, um, it will populate. I then I can also go through and check off these radio buttons if I'd like and save and close. Now in order for me to send this to my client to sign, I would go to envelopes and create an envelope to send it to them. So I would click, uh, you can either click new or click uh, electronically signed documents here to create a new envelope and uh, it's going to open a new envelope. You can choose the name. Uh, I could say uh, addendum to listing agreement. And then I wanna add the documents. Now you have the option to use a template if you've created any templates or if your market center has created any templates. Um, we have this more option to upload one or I can just pull in those documents already pulled into my room. So I'm gonna check it off, click add selected. And now I'm going to add the recipient, the client who's going to sign it. Now, what we want to make sure we use the pre-tagged roles here. Um, so this will uh, autofill all the uh, signing places uh, and, and attach them to the client uh, so that they can sign them. So I'm going to choose seller one is Joe Schmo. And I'll do listing agent would be me in this case and add selected. Now, one of the nice things about uh, DocuSign is that you can have two roles with the same email address. Uh, you have more than two roles with the same email address. Um, and this is good for your clients who maybe the husband has an email address, but the wife doesn't. Um, it can be sent to the same email. Um, also note, we have these numbers here, uh, which means this is an order of operations. So uh, I can set it so I don't sign it until the seller signs it by putting in the number two. Um, I can have, uh, if I had seller one and seller two, I, I would have one for both of them. It didn't doesn't matter what order they sign it in, but I would need to be the last one to sign it. And then here at the bottom, uh, let's just get rid of my face there. Uh, this is the email that they're going to be sent. So it would, the subject could be, you know, please sign or please docu sign KW Addendum. Uh, and then we have the message we can put in here. And then if, once we click next, is going to take us into the editor. 
Um, this is where we can verify uh, that all the signing fields are pro uh, correct. Um, we can make any changes that we need to. Um, let me click next again because it didn't. There we go. Um, and view the different uh, signers. Let's see. No. There we go. So now we're going into the editor. And you'll see we have the fields already in there. Um, and we can go and change it per person. Um, and all we need to do is just simply drag and drop if we need to use any of these. And click the delete button to remove. Now I've, uh, I'm content with this, so I'm going to send it. Now what this will do is send an email to your client. And I'm going to pull up that email. Whoops, not there. But here we go. No, not that one. My apologies. Okay. So this is what the email will look like. Um, it asks to review the document. I'll click on that. continue and the client will simply just click on what they need to sign and finish now if you as the agent need to sign the envelope will show this where it says needs my signature you can click on that click sign and you don't even have to leave your DocuSign room to sign this. Click sign, finish. And now you have a completed uh, envelope. Let's see, it says waiting for others, but it is completed. Uh, and then we can go into our um, opportunity and find the KW listing agreement checklist item, click add file, choose DocuSign, and you'll see that this is our um, addendum here. And uh, it says that it's signed. So we have the original and we have the signed. Let's choose the signed and assign it. You can then click on it to verify that you did select the proper one and you'll see, okay, there's the signatures. And then once this is complete, you can submit to the market center. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, if you have any further questions, feel free to email me, OrsiniChris at KW.com, or comment on uh, this video. Um, now, if you'd like to see more videos, you can always follow me um, on KW Connect or subscribe on YouTube. Um, and feel free, again, to reach out if you need any further assistance.